In today's quick video, we'll look at how to blend text onto a surface in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image that looks like this and turn it into this. I have this image of a brick wall in Affinity Photo. Let's add some text to it. I'll select my artistic text tool over here and I'll click and drag and add some text. I'll call it enter. I'll make it white. Now we're going to use something called blend options. I have a video that goes into blend options in detail. If you want to know exactly how blend options work, I'll leave a link in the description below. So with my text layer selected here, I'm going to click this gear option. And here I have the blend options. The side we care about is the right side here. What I'm going to do is drag down the curve here. And I'll drag it up a little bit there. And you can see the effect it's having over here. What we've done is we've suppressed our text layer in the areas where the image below it is darker. So up and down on this graph here represents how transparent our text is. Left to right is the darkness of the layer below it. So in the dark parts of the layer below it, we said make our text fully transparent. And that's why we could see these dark cracks through our text here. So I'll close this window and we can see the result here. Now, if I zoom into my letters here, the edges still look a little too straight and perfect. We can fix that with a displacement map. Now, first I'm going to reset the blend options. So I'll select the layer here. I'm gonna go back to my blend options. I'm just gonna click reset. We'll turn them back on later, but I want to show you the displacement map effect by itself. Now what a displacement map can do is bump our text in slightly different directions based on the height of the image below it. And the height is just going to be based on the level of brightness or darkness of that image. So let's hide our text. We're going to use our brick wall to simulate some height data. First, I'll just copy it with control J. I'll just call it height data. Now black and white works well enough. I'm just going to make it black and white. I'll click adjustments, HSL, and I'll just reduce the saturation. Also, it looks better when we blur the effect a little bit. That'll just make the bends and curves a little more gradual. So with this selected, I'll click Live Filters. I'll go to Gaussian Blur, and let's just give it a little bit of a blur there. I think about three pixels is good. Close that. Now let's add our displacement map. So let's turn on our text again. Displacement is done with a Live Filter. So with my text layer selected, I'm going to click Live Filters, and then I'll click Displace. Now what we have to do is we have to load our height data in there. And that's very easy to do. I can just say load map from layers beneath. So I'll click this. And you can see it's already had a slight effect on our text here. Let me zoom in. I can change the strength of it. We can make it positive or negative. And we can see that the text is actually bending with the cracks and crevices here. I'll close this. We don't need our height data anymore, so I'll delete that. Now one problem is that our blend options don't work well when there's a live filter here. So if I go back to my blend options again, I'll have my text selected. Let's go to blend options. You can see it's not actually doing anything. And I guess this is some limitation in Affinity where you can't do the blend options when a filter is set, but there's actually a really easy way to get around that. With my text selected, I'll just put it into a group. So I'll press Control G, and it's just a group by itself, one item in the group, our text. And on the group level, I can set the blend options. So with the group selected, I'll click the gear icon, and I can go and create the curve I did before. I'll dial down the dark side. Let's bring this up a little bit. Bring this area down a little bit. And now you can see we're getting both effects. The blend options are showing the dark crevices below and our displacement map is bending the text. And this dynamically changes as we move the text around. Notice how it's moving in and out of the cracks there. I can also change the text to something else. I can change the font. So it's fully editable. In this video, we looked at two advanced concepts, displacement maps and blend options. I have a video on each of these topics, so check them out if you want to see exactly how they work. I'll leave links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.